As basketball fans, we often believe that the players must have a great relationship with each other when off court, but that's not exactly true. We're not saying that all the NBA players hate each other, but some do. That often shows on court as well. So who are these players who hate each other? What caused them to do so? Let's find out. First, we have Kobe Bryant and Raja Bell. The history of hate between the late Kobe Bryant and Raja Bell goes back a few years, but it wouldn't be wrong to say that their hate aged well well like fine one. The rivalry between Bell and Bryant started back in 2001. However, things got really bad in 2006 during a postseason series between the Los Angeles Lakers and Phoenix Suns. With the major help of Kobe, the Lakers managed to take the lead with a score of 3-1. to one. This was also the time when Kobe was getting all the attention and was featured as the hero of the Lakers. At this point, Bell seemed to have lost his mind over Kobe and ended up clotheslining Kobe while he was on his way towards the basket. Raja Bell played dirty, and we believe it was to sideline Kobe and dull his focus. Even though Bell did a wrong thing, Kobe never got back at him physically. Instead, he said, I don't know this kid. I don't need to know this kid, when asked about Bell's action after the game. Ironically enough, the Lakers were later very much interested in signing Raja Bell, but this hasn't happened until now. The long rivalry between Kobe and Bell probably ended after Kobe's sudden accidental death in January 2020. While talking about Brian, after his death, Bell said that there was ever a better competitor than Kobe Bryant and that Bryant was a true champion. Next up, Ray Allen and Rohan Rondo. Most people think that Ray Allen's greatest rivalry is against Kevin Garnett. Well, they aren't entirely wrong, but we'd say that Allen has an even more fiery rivalry other than his dispute with Garnett, and that's against Rohan Rondo. In his preseason analysis, Chris Mannix, a sports analyst, said they hated each other and there was no way Ray was coming back as long as he, Rondo, was there. Well, in 2012, Adrian Wojnarowski, an American journalist, detailed this hateful relationship in one of his tweets, saying that Doc Rivers had made an attempt to fix the Rondo Allen issue after the season had ended. However, according to a team source, the matter between Allen and Rondo had gone too far to be mended. For people who haven't noticed yet, Rohan Rondo had stopped using Allen's name since his exodus in Miami. While Allen was was still a Celtics player, instead he'd refer to Allen as number 20. According to the sports analyst Bill Simmons, this feud between these former teammates started after Allen insisted upon remaining a big part of the Boston offense at the expense of Rondo and his teammates' chemistry. But to be honest, no one really knows the actual reason why these players hate each other so much. No matter the reason for this conflict, it's very clear that the players have no lost love left between them. It's sad to see that two former teammates can't get along anymore. Next, Luis Scola and Kevin Love. Kevin Love might love everyone, but Luis Scola isn't one of them, and the same's the case with Scola's feelings towards Kevin Love. So what exactly happened between the two? Everything was normal between Love and Scola until 2012. During a match between Timberwolves and Houston Rockets, Scola turned the ball into Love's face and hit the floor as well. The matter became controversial because it seemed like Scola had hit Love's face intentionally. Even though most fans believe that it was Scola's fault, the replays never made it clear and no foul against Scola was called during the game. However, a couple days later, a league investigation was held for the matter and the no foul turned into to flagrant too. As a result, Scola was suspended for two games. Right when everyone thought that the matter between the two players had been solved, another relatively smaller incident happened between the players. To everyone's surprise, it was only a week after the first incident. This time it was Scola once again knocking out love. These two incidents collectively created serious tension between the players and they probably hate each other to date. Even if Scola doesn't hate his rival, love definitely hasn't forgotten those injuries. Up next, Kevin Durant and Dwight Howard. Kevin Durant, the Thunder superstar, is most likely known for his nice guy image, while Rockets Dwight Howard is one of the most hated players. Collectively, they made their place on this list because they really are hating on each other. During the 2014-15 NBA season, Kevin Durant was limited to 27 games only due to his injuries. Not just that, Durant was kind of sidelined during his whole season. With all this going on during another such game against Houston Rockets, Durant somehow decided to break that sidelined character of himself. That was when Kevin Durant attacked Houston's Dwight Howard and got into his face. Not just that, Durant kept yelling, you're a P, repeatedly, which only fueled the fight. It's still unclear why this whole confrontation even happened and would have initiated it in the first place.
first place, but KD really made his opinion about Howard very clear that day. Now we have LeBron James and Joachim Noah. We know you weren't expecting LeBron James on this list, but here it is. That also against Chicago Bulls best defensive player, Joachim Noah. There's no doubt that LeBron is one of the basketball royalties. Having haters around him because of his success is also much expected. The fact that the feud between Noah and James is much more consistent than were in our plans makes us sad. Anyways, coming back to the point, it all started in 2009 when Joaquin Noah openly expressed his dislike towards Cleveland Cavaliers saying, Cleveland really sucks. His controversial statements didn't stop here. Instead, once again, when LeBron was a part of the Miami Heat, Noah made another statement saying that they dislike Miami and it makes them feel good whenever they get to beat them. After his back-to-back -back hateful statements, LeBron finally fired back and said that Noah should watch his mouth. Not just that, the NBA star also referred to Noah as a disrespectful person. Over the years, this feud only got worse, and the players have had several exchanges of harsh words and hard fouls since then. In 2013 and 2015, both players were served with double technical fouls for the use of foul language as well as physical play crossing the line. Seems like whenever these two are in the 100 meter radius of each other, some harsh exchange of words is bound to happen. To be honest, their feud doesn't seem like it'll ever come to peace. Next on our list, Kevin Garnett and Carmelo Anthony. This rivalry wouldn't have started if Kevin Garnett controlled his trash-talking habit, but what's done is done, and we can't really fix it. In 2013, during one of the Celtics' visits to TD Garden, Garnett couldn't hold himself back and ended up using some seriously inappropriate words targeted specifically towards Carmelo Anthony. Or it would be more appropriate to say that Garnett targeted Anthony's then-wife, Lala Anthony. In order to piss Anthony off, Garnett allegedly said that Lala tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. However, the trash-talking legend later denied saying anything like that. Just like that, he also expressed his dislike towards Anthony and the team by chasing their bus after the game. Whatever may have been the reason behind Garnett's anger dragging another player's loved one into a professional conflict is simply unacceptable. Anthony hating on Garnett really makes sense. Now we have Deshaun Stevenson and LeBron James. It's LeBron James once again, but the rival is Deshaun Stevenson this time. Truth is, that this matter was only one-sided at the start, but the constant physical play, along with trash talking, turned it into bad blood. It all started during LeBron's first ever game with the Cleveland Cavaliers while Stevenson was playing for the Wizards. During the game, when LeBron started showing off his talent and helping the Cavaliers win, Stevenson was probably plotting how to trash talk about James after the game. He talked badly about James and criticized his play in front of the media for days. Not just that, he also tried to provoke James after another their game by calling him overrated in front of the press. This time, LeBron responded and said that it was pointless to respond to his comments because it's like Jay-Z responding to Soulja Boy's comments. For a brief time, the feud seemed like it's been solved. However, in 2011, when the players faced each other again, the disagreement resurfaced and the rest is history. Anyhow, Stevenson's hatred towards James isn't really justifiable and almost all the LeBron fans believe that it's Stevenson's jealousy that keeps making him do such stuff. This might be true true because LeBron James still has the upper hand even after so many years. With competition comes conflicts as well as disagreements and feuds. It's normal for players to have personal disagreements as well because at the end of the day, they're also only humans. For now, this is everything. Do share your opinion about all the players in the comments. Don't forget to drop a like before you leave. Till next time, stay safe and healthy. Goodbye.